I have spent a good amount of time digging into Code Rabbit, testing it out, checking how it handles real tasks, and just seeing where it actually delivers and where it doesn't. This is not a sponsored video, it's just my honest take after really using it. So if you've been thinking about trying it, hopefully this saves you some time. So the idea behind Code Rabbit is kind of cool. It's an AI coding assistant that integrates directly with GitHub. You don't just copy paste code and ask questions. Instead, it follows your pull requests, comments on them, and even helps review code like a human teammate would. You can assign it as a reviewer and it will give feedback line by line or summarize a big PR so your team can scan through it faster. In actual use, I found it surprisingly helpful with routine tasks like flagging missing tasks, checking for hard-coded values, or spotting code that breaks conventions. It's not perfect, but for cleaning up PRs and reducing back and forth between engineers, it really adds value. That said, it's not a replacement for human review, especially for architecture decisions or security-sensitive code. Also, it sometimes overcomments on things that are already covered in the project style guide. CodeRabbit charges per seat and it scales based on how many PRs it reviews. So for small teams, it's manageable, but for larger organizations doing tons of merges daily, you'll want to look closely at usage to avoid surprises. So bottom line is, if you are on a team that's constantly juggling PRs and could use an extra pair of AI eyes, especially for junior devs or repetitive code, Code Rabbit's worth a look. But if your team is already having a tight code review process, it might feel like noise than help. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.